This is the quiet town of Rockford, Alabama, but that's all about to change. Mr. Billy Hill lives right down the road past Mr. Picklesimer Farm. He's got some information on the graph killer. I need you to get it and get it pronto. Y'all get out of here. All right, we'll do that. Let's go, Barry. Mr. Zorn, I don't know what that is, but I surely hope that ain't where it lives. What are y'all doing on my property? Well, we heard that you have information on the guy that killed Mr. Perrell. No. No, I think you do. As a matter of fact, we heard that Billy knew about this, and I think that your name is Billy. Now, ain't your name Billy? No. Don't be fun with me, boy. Boy? Yeah. You call him boy. You don't scare me with that, eh? Go <laughs> put the truck right on down the road. <laughs> I you have no idea. You're talking to Mr. Barry Mason of Rockford, Alabama. Hey, I don't care where you're from. Don't make me slap you with my pay cut. Don't make me slap you with my axe. Hey! Hey! You know who you're talking to here? Okay, you know what? Let's go, let's go. But you know what? We'll be back! My word, Cap. We'll be back. Hello? Oh, hello. Well, this is Mr. Billy here. Well, well, so you got news on the graph killer. So you say that the graph killer is Joe Green. Well, I, I didn't know that. Hmm. Okay, well, thank you so much for calling us, and we'll get on it. Bye. You go this way. I go this way. Because you're the cop. And I'm a lawyer. What's that on your glasses? Korean one. What you, what you do in the Korean War? Bad days. Bad days. So word come down from top brass. Yeah. We're gonna protect them. in there, sir. Oh, good. 
is that the case? Do you, uh, you know this graph? Oh, oh. You know what that is. What about this graph? No. Oh, it's trying to be funny, guys. What about this one? No. Oh, alright, 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 alright. What about this one? No. Oh, right. is, that, is that the case now? Alright. You know that map? No. Oh, you live in Rockford now, don't you? I'm not terrible. Oh, is, is, is that so? Yeah. I know your weakness. Yeah, that's so. I know one of your weaknesses. That's so. Oh, you like that sound? What is that? Now you gonna tell? No. Never. Officer 
adorned, place your right hand on the Bible. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth will help you God? I do. Thank you. Be seated. All right. Mr. Mason? Okay. Officer Zorn has been the leading detective on this case. Mr. Zorn, is there a connection between the graphs and the murder of Mr. Pratt? Yes, we have found that the day Mr. Wilson was fired, he said that a vertical line had a zero slope. This is wrong. And Mr. Pratt was hired to teach his kids proper math. That is wrong because a vertical line has an undefined slope while a horizontal line has a zero slope, as you can tell on these graphs. Okay. And so you mean to tell me that he killed Mr. Prabhupada on a coordinate plane in a graph-like style? Yes. And would you say under the uh, uh, investigation of the evidence that it was premeditated? Yes. No further questions. Mr. Padlock, do you have any questions for the witness? No questions. Thank you, sir. You may have a seat. Mr. Johnson, place your right hand on the Bible. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Thank you. You may be seated. Mr. Mason. Yes. Okay. Mr. Johnson. Now, where did you find letter E and letter F? I found them in Mr. Wilson's burn pile. I figured I'd need them to turn them in. Okay. Letter E, from what we can read, says, you have, I have, dis you, I have you have discovered about the graphs, and you watch them back and rent them out for you, dollars to me, David Wilson. That's all we can read from what has been burned out. And exhibit, state exhibit F says, no, I know that um, you know about the graphs, and this is your last warning to leave town. Exhibit F. He burnt the rest of it, so we can't read it. So, so, uh, were you working under the police? No, I'm just looking for scraps. Okay. Um, thank you. No further questions. Mr. Padlock, would you like to copy down in the witness? Yes, ma'am. <coughs> Do you often go rummaging through the garbage? Yes. Okay. Now, when you were digging through this burn pile, were you drunk? Um, uh, well, I think I was a little drunk. No further questions. Mr. Mason? Uh, no, no questions at this time. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. You may be seated. The prosecution calls David Wilson to the stand. Bible, Mr. Wilson. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Okay, thank you. You may be seated. Mr. Wilson, how did you feel about Mr. Prabla after he got you fired? Well, I was not very happy. I mean, he took my job. I cannot help but to feel angry towards him. Did you contemplate revenge of some sort? Yes, but contemplation does not mean action. Okay. Now, the letter shows that you threatened Mr. Bradley's life. How are you going to answer for these letters? I don't know these letters. I was asleep. No further questions. Mr. Padlock, would you like to cross-examine the witness? Yes, ma'am. Now, Mr. Wilson, did you kill Mr. Bradley? No. Okay. Well, let's look at the um, evidence found at the scene. This hat. Okay. Now, this will be the ultimate test to determine whether he did it, he killed Pablo or not. Now, would you put on the set? <gasps> Order in the court. No further questions. Mr. Padlock, would you like 
Mr. Mason, do you have any other questions? Yes. So, you, so you can fit the hat that we found on C. Can I just have the hat back? Because as we all know, that if the hat don't fit, you must have quit. And in this case, the hat fit. No further questions. Mr. Wilson, you have been sentenced to 20 years 